So David Brown is still hard at it on the hay bob. We're doing these last couple of fields that I mentioned in the last video. We still have these few fields uh, that it was grazing, got ahead of itself. Uh, we mowed it down, we let it sit for a few days uh, back when there was a little bit of rain early in the week. And we've shook it up now the last few days. We've had some glorious sunshine in the last few days. So it's made very quickly. We could have actually rode this up uh, yesterday evening, which was Friday evening, and bailed it up. But there's no panic. The weather was going to be good today, and uh, there's great drying. So we're going to roll it off now, uh, and we're going to come back then in about an hour, an hour and a half's time, and we'll get it all bailed off. This field here, going to make round bales in it. The other field, uh, which I haven't any footage of yet, uh, we're going to square bale it. So we're going to get the square baler on the 2850, and we're going to go up and square bale it. So, yeah, bit of footage of that coming up, uh, and we'll see how we get on. Uh, great to have it'll be a great chance now to get this done, dusted out of the way, and it'll it'll come back fairly quickly. And when it does, then it goes back straight into the grazing for the for the cattle. So, uh, yeah, see how we get on. Uh, don't forget if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the sub button, uh, leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed the video, comment down below. All those things help the channel, as I always say, and uh, very much appreciate it. Now, let's get out of the way before. The brown comes.
All right, so field number two done and dusted. We just finished there now. Uh, I think there was 16 bales on it. Maybe three and a half, four acres in this field. So it's not a massive field. There was only a light crop on it. But uh, it has cleaned it up very nicely. Uh, the grass starting to come already in it. You can see uh, this is cut. It's actually cut a week today. Uh, there was a little bit of rain last Sunday, so I never touched it. I let it sit. There was possibly rain to come on Wednesday gone. It never arrived. So I shook it out a few times and it's just come lovely. So couldn't be, couldn't be any better. Uh, and grass will come now fairly quickly. Uh, next week, probably give this a light coat and a slurry and uh, just to give it a wee bit of a blast on. And it'll be ready for, we have a batch of bulls grazing in the field here down the bottom of this. They'll be able to come here and get uh, running this in about a fortnight's time. So uh, it'll be perfect back into the grazing uh, system for those bulls, ideal. Uh, yeah, so one more field I have to round bale. Uh, square bale is done. You see, I got a bit of footage of it in the first part of this video. It's done and dusted. There was, I think it was 250, 260 square bales and I'll find out later for sure. Uh, there's a hundred of them gone to one customer and we're going to load the rest of them onto the trailer and we'll probably keep those ourselves. So uh, yeah, great to have a few square bales done and dusted too and uh, blow the cobwebs off the square bale off. So anyway, let's get to the next field. Uh, I might put the drone up, get a bit of a time lapse footage of bailing it up. It's a really small field. So yeah, let's go get it done. Okay, so we're going to finish off this video with a bit of time lapse footage and a voiceover rather than some music. So Bailing up the last of the fields that we have on the ground at the moment. Uh, now you'll see me reversing into some different positions here to drop off bales. That's because there is quite a steep hill in this field. Now there is a flat area there at the top side of the field where I've just passed. And also then down on the bottom side, uh, which is the top of the screen, not to confuse things. Uh, there's also a flattish area there. So you'll see me drop some bales off there as well. Uh, you have to just be kind of careful where you drop them off because if you're not, you could end up with a, a bale moving at high speed uh, and maybe doing some damage to a, a boundary fence, which we don't want. So, yeah, you can see me just moving into different positions there to drop bales off. A uh, super crop of grass on this on this uh, field. It, there's only an acre and a half in this field. Uh, I think there was 28 bales on it, so a great return on that. Uh, the reason it's such a good return on it uh, this field is at the bottom of one of our silage fields. It was slurried and fertilised along with the silage ground back in the springtime. It's had about three weeks extra growing time than what the silage had before we cut it. And uh, yeah, it's just done really, really well. So uh, it, it has took nine days to get this dry enough to save it. Uh, it's just that heavy a crop. But it was just in perfect condition today for baling, which is fantastic. That's what you want. Uh, sometimes I do cut it for... Don't always make hay in it. Sometimes I cut it for round bales. Sometimes I've lifted with the JF 900. It's an awkward field to lift with the JF. There's no other way around it. It just, it's small and if you try to pull it alongside you and you're just, you seem to be just going around in a circle or turning all the time and it's just awkward. So uh, we try to either make some round bales or a bit of hay in it if we can. Um, but yeah, just finished now. Drone is coming down. Uh, glad to have the hay made that we have made all we need now is about a 10 days of good weather to make another what have we left 35 acres i think so we'll be hoping the weather gods are working with us and we get it done over the next uh the next well we have a month or so it'll be nice to get done before around the middle of the middle of july that's what you'd like to have it all wrapped up around the middle of july if you can but uh, it doesn't always work out that way uh, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the sub button if you're not already subscribed. Hit the like button, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video.